Hi, I am Chris from Roar Theme. In this video, I will show you how to perform a quick setup to make a home page like the preset piece of Be Yours theme. Let's say that you've just installed Be Yours preset piece via official Shopify theme store. Now you are in the Customize panel. The announcement bar section lets you communicate important information to your customers from any page. Click on Announcement Bar in the section list. I leave the settings of the section as default here, but you can change them if you want to. Click on the announcement block for settings. This is the announcement that you want to display to your customers. Optionally, you can set an URL for the text. For other announcement blocks, just do the similar settings. The header section displays on all pages in your theme. Click on Header in the sections list. Choose or upload your logo here. Choose your menu. Be Yours supports both drop down and mega menus, you can enable here. For the menu setup, click on the link for the instruction. I also include it in this video's description. Another logo, for the transparent header. That's all for the header, preset, piece. You can check out documentation in this video's description for more info. Next, the, reveal banner. This section displays a banner that automatically hides or reveals its content based on the scroll behavior. Click on, reveal banner, to open its settings. Select your image for the section. My image is already in the list because I uploaded it before, but you can upload your own image here. I leave the settings of the section as default here, but you can change them if you want to. Click on the Heading block. Enter your heading and choose the size you want. Next, the Subheading block. Also set your text and size here. The buttons that display on the image. Enter the first button's label. If you want to hide the button, just leave the field as blank. Also set an URL for the button. The second button is for video purpose. When clicking, a pop-up video should show. So. Use either YouTube or Vimeo link, for the, video URL field. Describe the video to make it accessible for customers using screen readers. Click on, text slide, block for its settings. Default settings are here. Most of them are texts. Change them to fit your business. Section. Guarantees. This section displays your commitments to honor your customers. Click on Guarantees to open its settings. Here are the default settings. Change them as you want. Click on Guarantee block for its settings. Choose an icon that accommodates to the guarantee. Set None to hide the icon. Enter heading and content for your guarantee. For other guarantee blocks, just do the same thing. With Featured Collection section, you can add a section that displays products in one collection. Click on Featured Collection section to open its settings. Enter your heading. You can leave blank to disable the heading. Choose your collection. And here you go. The products display now. Here are the default settings. Change them in case of need. Section. 
Layered images with text. It contains four images and a text block with an optional button to link customers to a new page. Pair text with four images to focus on your chosen product, collection, or blog post. Click on Layers Images with Text to open its settings. The default settings. Change them as you want. Like what I've just mentioned, this section contains four images, so choose your images here. That's one. Two. Three. And four. Click on Subheading Block to set your description and its size as well. The same for heading and description. Click button block to set the label and URL for the button. In a similar way to other sections, if you don't like a button, just leave blank to hide it. Okay, that's all. Section. Tab collage. You can create a collage of videos, images, products, and collections in tab style. Each tab collage section contains maximum six blocks. This section contains image blocks. Click on Image Block for its settings. Upload your image here. Enter your heading and description as well. Label for button. Leave blank to hide the button. URL for the button. For other image blocks, just do the same. Go setting image, heading, description, and the button. Here are the default settings. Change them to fit your need. Click Save to finish the changes. The Lookbook section creates pins of product on a picture board in which each pin directs customers to the product details. In this section, you need to upload your image used as a picture board to pin the products on. Each look block is a pin on the picture board that represents for a product. So go choose your product here. You may want to choose a color for the pin and adjust its position to move it to your desired place on the picture board. The position is calculated by two values, X coordinate and Y coordinate which are in percent unit from the left edge and top edge, respectively. Do the same for other blocks. You can also add more pins by clicking Add Block.
In Featured Product section, you can add a section that features a specific product. Within the section settings, choose a product to be displayed. Here are the default settings. Change them in case of need. These are the blocks representing for products info. You may want to change them. You can find more details about these blocks in our documentation, and the link is in this video's description. Next, another, tab collage, section. You've probably just watched the, tab collage, in this video, the first one. So, please take a quick tour, and I'm not going to repeat it. Here's the first, image, block. The second, image, block. The third one. And the last one. That's all. Section, Image with Text Overlay. In this section, you can feature a large image with a custom text overlay to your customers. Your message could describe a product, share an announcement, or welcome customers to your store. Click on, Image with Text Overlay, to open its settings. Choose an image for the section. These are the default settings. Change them in case of need. The section contains three types of blocks. Each block represents a component of the section. Set some text for the heading block. The text block, in which you can enter the description. In button block, set label and URL for the button. When it comes to making purchasing decisions online, customer reviews and consumer testimonials can make or break a sale. The testimonials section helps to build social proof and increase conversions. In this section, simply set the heading. You also have options to adjust the rotate behavior of the testimonials. That is, there are as many testimonials as there are blocks. Click on testimonial block for its settings. Choose a preset icon and enter your testimonial content. Set the image for the author. And the name too. For other testimonial blocks, just do the same thing.
Finally, a very specific section, the footer. The footer displays on all common pages across your store. There are three menu blocks preset. Click on each one to set a heading and choose a menu for it. You may notice the email sign-up form here. For its settings, click on the footer section. Here are the default settings. Change them to fit your need. That's all for the quick setup for the piece preset. Please don't forget to visit our website for discounts or upcoming themes and apps. Thanks for watching.